I was born and raised in Florida, and I can tell you that Governor Ron DeSantis is ruining the state. He is a dangerous demagogue who is transforming Florida into a backward right-wing paradise called DeSantistan. I call him Little Dick Ron because he acts like a mini dictator. He has attacked LGBTQ people, banned books, hijacked higher education, and has punished corporations like Disney for speaking out against his bigotry and lies. Equality Florida created some powerful animated ads highlighting some of Little Dick Ron's extremist policies. For example, DeSantis wants to take away reproductive freedom and force women to give birth against their will. We're done with the interview and we have the samples we need for evidence. You can give her something, right? A pill in case she's pregnant. She's only 10. Under the new government mandate, she'll be tested. And if she's pregnant, she'll be assigned a government monitor to ensure she completes her pregnancy. Ron DeSantis has already restricted access to abortions in Florida, with no exceptions for rape. A rapist can force himself on a child. It takes politicians like Ron DeSantis to force her to have his baby. DeSantis is a bully and a coward. He's too scared to condemn the rallies. He's terrified to respond to Donald Trump's pointed barbs. He buckled when asked if we should help Ukraine defend itself against Putin's Russia. But big bad little Dick Ron has taken on LGBTQ students and tried to silence them. Real tough guy. Freedom of speech is a core American value, but under DeSantis's rule, it's obey or be silenced. Florida's don't say gay law means teachers can now be sued for a rainbow flag in the classroom. DeSantis is targeting private companies for speaking out in favor of LGBTQ youth. And if DeSantis has his way, parents who support their transgender child can be charged with child abuse. And who knows who he'll come for next? Ron DeSantis, it's time to stop him. DeSantis has also embraced a blatantly white supremacist curriculum in schools. He has launched an unconstitutional Orwellian censorship campaign where he has roving mobs of zealots called woke busters roaming around school libraries looking for books to be offended by and ban. This is un-American. It's reminiscent of the infamous Joe McCarthy era in the 1950s and what we'd expect in North Korea. Florida should be a state of free speech and free thought. But Ron DeSantis passed new government mandates to ban books covering slavery, civil rights, and the Holocaust. Ban them from school libraries. Ban them from classrooms. And who knows where he'll stop. Ron DeSantis' extreme attacks on our freedom have gone to a place we couldn't have imagined even a few years ago. As the Equality Florida ads say, it is time to stop Little Dick Ron before he takes his demagoguery nationwide. He is now sowing the seeds for his presidential campaign on his national book tour. But we need to fight like hell to ensure Florida is Ron DeSantis' final chapter in politics. It's bad enough that little Dick Ron is a little dictator bringing darkness to the Sunshine State. We must ensure this two-bit tyrant never steps foot in the White House.